didn't want her being out by herself. Because even when I was around her, she was always having a hard time. And I felt, you know, if, as long as she's with me, I can help her with some of that stuff. For me, after our older sister got separated from us, that you know, I had to do, I had to deal with all that by myself, and I didn't want her going through that. He needed to be willing to become just the child again, because he hadn't for about four years. And it was, uh, it was a transition. We had a lot of great conversations. And he, when he became able to trust the other people, then he was able to hand off the responsibilities. It was great to watch his little mind go. When Patty acts out, his instinct is like, just calm down, you're gonna blow this. This is working good, you're gonna ruin. Like, that's the energy he's putting out. But um, that happens so many times and we, we, we both have the same response, like, you don't have to do that, John, we got this, we'll, we'll take care of Patty and just worry about you. And, and I think he's starting to realize, hey, I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to worry about Patty's behavior. Learn about what trauma is for a young mind and really understand the behaviors, what the behaviors are. Because like, so many parents that don't understand that on a fundamental level, Will, will just react harshly to these behaviors instead of finding the symptoms. Like, every behavior has a reason. Um, so that, that training was instrumental, because I would have looked at this all wrong. And this is my second time being a dad. I had, um, you know, I had my older daughter from previous marriage, and, you know, I, I, if, I, if I applied those same parental uh, techniques to this situation, it would have failed. It would have failed for sure.